So this last section of 5.4 is maybe one of the most important. Um, correlation, causation, and linear regression. And this is, I think, where you see a lot of um, statistics in the media. I think it's where you see a lot of statistics in research um, and could certainly be helpful for something like an IA. So with, <clears throat> with this topic, we're talking about um, bivariate data mostly. And bivariate data shows a relationship between two variables, right? By the prefix for two. Um, and they are typically expressed as an ordered pair x, y. So these are things maybe like height and weight. Maybe you talk about time and growth of a plant or something. Things like that. Anytime you're trying to compare, usually we're trying to show some kind of a comparison. Or look for some sort of connection between the two variables. And what we do is we take this bivariate data and we put it on a scatter plot, or the book says scatter diagram. This is really kind of a, like a book specific thing as far as I know. Is um, Regardless what you call it, it's a graph composed of isolated plotted points. And the goal is to show the relationship between two quantitative variables from an individual in the data set. So my scatter plots, you know, typically, you might have seen them already, is going to look something like this. I have a whole bunch of isolated plotted points. And I'm trying to show some sort of trend from um, all the points in the data set. So actually, maybe I'll draw this way instead. And when we do this, we want to consider three things. So the first thing we want to talk about is the association or the trend. And this association is typically positive or negative. So if I look at my example that I kind of put together randomly off to the right, um, well, there's, there's a clear positive trend here. My data as x seems to increase, y seems to increase as well. When we talk about form, um, we're usually talking about the type of function that best fits the data. That. Most of the times we're talking about linear, especially in this class, um, but we can have more than just linear correlation. We can have correlation that it maybe is, um, or sorry, a form that is more quadratic or trigonometric. It's all possible. Stuff like that is possible. And, you know, this seems like we can fit it pretty clearly with a linear form, and it looks like a positive linear form. The last thing we want to talk about is strength and correlation, and that talks about how well the trend fits, sorry, um, yeah, the trend fits the association and form. I guess I should say maybe the model is a better word. Um, and we're going to actually start by talking about correlation quantitatively because I think it's easier to understand that way and kind of show pictures of what that looks like. And we do that with something called the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient, which is a mouthful. Um, that's not what I wanted. The book will use PMCC. Mathematically, we abbreviate this with R. So on my number line here, we're going to categorize R. Um, as you can see, R is such that R falls between 1 and negative 1, inclusive. And we can split up R in a number of different ways. So obviously, R can be either negative or positive because I can have either a positive as I do here or a negative correlation and then I'm gonna kinda of have my categories so if R is between 0.75 and 1 then we would call this a strong correlation regardless of the sign if the um, number is between 0.75 and 1 we call this strong correlation and strong correlation is going to very closely fit whatever model I'm looking with. Um, and for this section, we'll kind of stick mostly with linear data. 
Well, we can see from my model here that if I were to actually draw a line kind of summarizing the trend that I see, it would almost, all the points would almost fall directly on that line. I should mention, because I didn't, that if r is equal to 1, I see the absolute value of r is equal to 1 because it could be negative 1, is exactly a linear relationship. So if the points were to fall, whoops, if the points were to fall exactly on a line, we would say the correlation coefficient value is 1. So 1 says it's exactly linear. So this is my example of strong. In this case, it would be strong positive, right? I can have strong negative as well. If I'm between 0.75 and 0.5, then we're going to call this moderate correlation. And that's to say that, you know, it's going to pretty closely fit a line, but maybe not as closely as we would have liked. Now it could be better. So maybe my points, maybe I have one out here. But I can still trace a pretty fairly linear trend, sort of. Again, so here's, this is just another positive one because it's kind of the way my brain thinks. So we'd call this a moderate positive correlation. Then I have weak from between 0.25 and 0.5, and I have very weak if I'm between 0 and 0.25. And of course, this is mirrored on the positive side as well. So what is weak correlation going to look like? Maybe I'll try to do a negative one this time. Weak correlation is going to very vaguely outline some kind of a negative association. But for all intents and purposes, there is no clear correlation there, right? There's no, we have no case to say, yeah, you know, this line really clearly fits the data, all the points fall on that line, especially when you compare it to something like my strong correlation, where all the points almost outline that line. Um, but we can still kind of trace a negative trend there, right? Generally, most of the time, as my x-axis decreases, uh, sorry, increases, my y-axis values increase, oh, sorry, increase, decrease, right? I can still roughly trace a pattern, but it's certainly not as strong, and maybe I have a much harder case in proving that there's an association there as when I do um, compared to my strong data. So if we're going to talk about correlation, my R, quantitatively, we're going to do that. So I'm going to, if you kind of saw by example, right, I would talk about correlation two ways, right, we identify the strength and the association. Sorry, yeah, association. Make sure I'm using the right words. Strong, positive. Moderate, positive. Weak, negative. Strong, negative. I always have two words um, when I describe my correlation. 